What up guys, me and JP just finished our bodybuilding shows. That means it's time to cheat because our diets are over. It's time to eat. Yup, but we're still gonna train, so we're at Torture Gym, about to hit a big pull session. But before that, we're gonna kick it off with some yummy eats at Taste Buds Creole Kitchen in Las Vegas, because we've been saving all this yummy, delicious food and we can't wait to eat it all. We got at least 20,000 calories for today, saved. Oh, that's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're on a 30, slight cut. A yeah, slight yeah, yeah. Cut. Deficit? Deficit, yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. I feel like I can do that. That's crazy. So the first spot we're eating at is called Taste Buds Las Vegas. And I first stumbled across this place just on my Explore page, because during bodybuilding prep, you're so hungry. So I'm trying Favorited. to- yeah, 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 I'm trying to live vicariously through other people. And I saw this crazy ass mac and cheese that had lobster and oxtail, and it was all on one. And I believe the lady behind this spot is called Chef Trish. And apparently she has the best mac and cheese in town. So now you throw a lobster and you throw oxtail on there, and I'm like, what? Can't go wrong. Yeah, but we uh, actually um, decided to separate the lobster and oxtail because we're just extra fat. Yeah, so yeah. we're like, let's get two, two dishes. dishes instead yeah, of yeah. one. <laughs> So we got lobster mac and cheese and then the oxtail with gravy and rice. Yeah, cornbread. And JP was like, we have to do the cornbread. You gotta do cornbread. So I was like, let's do some cornbread. And then dessert after. I thought we're working out. But it's like, uh, you know, simple sugars and I've fast heard carbs. Of that. Yeah, yeah. I've It'll heard help of that. with performance. I, I That's why we're, it's not because I, I don't want to like eat it. Like, it's for performance. It's for based. performance. Yeah, okay, okay. But they're yeah, out yeah. of dessert. We'll go. We'll go somewhere else. We'll, we'll find something. Yeah. We'll find somewhere. Right? Yeah, I hope we, we have to. We hope we find something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the form of like an ice cream. Yeah, ice cream, <laughs> donuts, pie. I don't know. Like not stuff I like. Yeah, just yeah, things yeah. that are like good for the muscles. Yeah, yeah, good for good for training. We got the lobster mac. Oh, we're just, oh, we're sharing. just sharing. Thank you. Oh. Y'all didn't get enough, did you? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. Well, we're trying to work out right after, oh, so okay. I don't want to yeah, pass understand. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you might have had to take a nap then. Go yeah, yeah. That. There's some big cornbread. Smell looks insane. Ooh, and it this, smells good, dude. Oh man. Mm. So they said Chef Trish's mac and cheese is the best in town, is what they said. Yeah. Do you believe them? We'll find out. This smells so fragrant. Yeah, yeah it smells so good. I love cornbread. Me too. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you gonna get first? A little bit of everything. All right, I'm gonna try it. They keep talking about this mac and cheese. Yeah, we, we got, got one for everybody. Yeah, we got. So I got it. Oh wow! I love it when it's like oh liquidy like that. Mmm. Oh, it's very um like. Cajun-y. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good flavor. Got like little spice to it, a little kick to it. Mm -hmm. You taste that lobster? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna just eat the lobster straight out. Get in there. Mmm. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good dry rub. Oh, that's bomb. Really good dry rub, actually. I kind of want to just come back and get grilled lobster. Yeah, I know, right? It's a really good dry rub. Look at that. Dry rub right there. Look, the only thing y'all didn't do was get some dessert. Have uh, y'all tried the taffy grapes? No, we haven't. They said they were out. Yeah, I think we're trying to order them. No, they, she well, must you asked for the strawberry. Oh, oh yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. right. The oh, okay. Ooh, thank you so thank much. You, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all done let us know, okay? The chef wanna take a picture of Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. For sure. Thank you. Good spot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, try some of this oxtail action. This thing kind of looks Asian a little bit. I love the gravy, though. Oh, dude, gravy. The gravy on there. Like a there. good biscuits and gravy. Yeah. yeah. That's why I thought we had to get the cornbread, you know. Mm. Man, this Mop up heavy. some of that gravy. This thing is loaded with meat. Look at this. Boom. Oh. Dude, this looks so good. Fluffy rice with some gravy and some oxtail. Dude, you can't go wrong. Mmm. It's a good, Bomb. good beefy, yeah, 
fatty gravy. That's a fatty oxtail too. I eat this with my hands. Oh yeah, it just falls off. Oh man. Mm, get in there. Yeah, bomb. Mm, really good. All right, I gotta try it. All right, let's get in here. It's so good. It's like one of those like rainy day foods. You know, like if it's like rainy and you're kind of cold. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. that like hits you in the soul. Something to warm you warm up. Warm you up. Oh yeah. Like a good winter food or Thanksgiving meal. During prep, I had two cravings. One was smash burger, which I got literally right after the show. And the other one was a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Other than that, I was just craving any fatty meat because I was eating only chicken breast, fish. Um, so anything that was like ribeye off the table, New York steak off the table, ribs, anything off the table. So like anything that was just like meaty in flavor that like like hit you in the soul, I could not eat any of that stuff. I didn't even eat salmon because I felt like it was too fatty. What was the thing that you craved the most? <laughs> Probably pizza. Oh, yeah. But then also, um, I was having sushi throughout prep, mm -hmm. but then my wife would get like these fun rolls that I would really want to eat. And I don't normally like get that at all during yeah, yeah. off season, but it would be like, you know, they had a Toro crunch roll. And it was like Toro inside with like um, like eel and like more Toro on top, like little crunchy bits with a, with a Toro sauce on there. It was just like, looking at that with my like nigiri in front of me, I was like, I want that. Yeah, you start you know? seeing that with like the mayo and all mm -hmm. those other like. Yeah, all the extra toppings that make it like a thousand calories. I think I found the best way to eat this. I like that. It just falls apart. That it's just mixed together. Oh, that so sounds gonna, good too. I'm gonna try that out. So this. I'm gonna just mix it all together. Um, this is the way chef intended, I think. Holy shit, that's good. It's good, right? Yeah, it's so good. Macro, micronutrient wise, in terms of overall, you know, benefit to performance, this may be the, the best thing you could have. Yeah, the micronutrient profile is insane. Crazy good macros, you know. Yeah. I'm sure the fat is low. That is like a zero fat mac and cheese man mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. So I think we invented a new thing. Okay, tell us. We got the mac and cheese and the lobster and the oxtail on the rice and we mix it together. Mm. Is that how you guys eat it or not? Mm. Look, I'll be slopping it together. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be having I mix the cornbread in there too. Yeah. Yeah. And then put the hot I, and then I was like, I see why every table has a hot sauce. Mm. It was really good. Did y'all try the grape chip? No, we're, about yeah, to. we're about to. Yeah. I'm right on time. She just made some oh. oh, y'all got strawberry, y'all got blue cow. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. What kind y'all like the most? Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you tell that we really liked it? <laughs> it's all gone. It's all gone. All right, so we got taffy strawberry and a taffy one. I love strawberry shortcake. I'm just eating this because of fruits. Yeah, it's yeah, good no. for you. For digestion. Yeah. Damn. Go ahead, JP. Number one. Taffy I first. I love grapes. Ooh. Let's try the taffy first. Oh, it's so cold too. Mm. That reminds me of like the top of like a drumstick. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. If your kids don't like fruits, this is the way. <laughs> yeah. Fruits. Just cover it in like, what is this, like chocolate? Cover it in half pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a strawberry shortcake. Mm. Mm. This is not cold. Is this the one? Because they just made it. But I think I like the strawberry shortcake better. I think I will too. You ready for working out? Mm. Like donuts? What'd you say? Oh, I was saying, did you want ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was good. I had a great <laughs> workout. Honestly, me and JP mid-workout were like, 
I think we're ready to eat again. Yeah, well, even though we went right after. Yeah, every squeeze, yeah. I could feel all the calories going away. I'm like, yeah. oh no, I'm shrinking. I was shrinking. burning so many calories, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That cornbread was gone after the first workout. Done, yeah. yeah so definitely. I hit a bunch of exercises I don't usually hit. That's what I like to do, kind of like in my off season or whatever. But now we're here yeah. at Seta Bayo, if that's how you pronounce it. Pizzeria Napolitana. That sounded authentic Italian. Yeah, more hands, more hands. Yeah. <laughs> and what that means, the Napolitana part is important because that means it's certified by Italy. It's a uh, Neo uh, Napolitan Nepal Neopol Nepal <laughs> Nepal All of their pizza comes out like that ice cream that at the store. <laughs> it's, ice, it's strawberry, <laughs> vanilla, and chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. No, no, it's a, it's actually certified by Italy, so it's one of the few places, and they certify based off of flour, a water, cheese, and the overall taste. Yeah. So we're about to get some legit Italian pizza. Are you ready? Very good. So they have a lot of like, like I, tr I actually came here before. Um, one of them, it has, do you like apricots? Yeah, I see a prosciutto one too. Oh, okay. We need that. So there's a prosciutto one. So look, apricot, marmalade. Oh, that sounds bomb. Prosciutto, crudo, brie cheese, mozzarella. Yeah, brie, I'm, I'm there. Basil, olio, which is. Oh, there's a. It's a, 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 a truffle. Yeah, and then, uh, oh, this one's good. Pizza carbonara, crushed tomatoes, pancetta, egg, egg. cracked pepper, 36 month parmesan, parmesan, mozzarella, basil, olio. So we have three people? They're small, right? Yeah, so we should get three of them at the minimum. Yeah. I think four of them. Four? For real? Yeah. Because they also have like. You don't always uh, take it home. They also got like side stuff. Oh, maybe we should try some side Cause stuff. Because they, they probably, like last time I got their meatballs, that was pretty good. Yeah, some extra protein. Yeah, see, protein yeah. is good. But, um, <laughs> protein is good. <laughs> Sometimes they got specials. So I'll wait for the guy to come and see if uh, if he recommends anything. But I did like this one. Ooh. Pizza carbonara was good. Mm. Um, I love a good egg. So is it like an over easy kind of egg? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know Nadim loves eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I forgot what other ones I got. I'll just ask him. All right, cool. What I really like about this place too is all the tomato sauce. Yeah. They make it right there. So they crush really? the tomato. So it has like a very fresh taste. It's yeah, not like yeah. a tomato sauce that's made that's been sitting there and kind of settled. And it feels kind of like heavier. It's like the whole pizza tastes crazy light. Which means we have even more room to eat other things because it's so light in calories. That probably. sounds so good. Yeah. I mean, the way they bake it, it bakes the calories out. I've so. heard that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you know when you cook with alcohol, the mm -hmm. alcohol kind of like goes away. Yeah. So it I burns think, out the calories. So if you cook it high enough, then all the calories go away. Yeah. That's why that little char. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Damn, that thing is sizzling still. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I'm about to take a picture. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, you do the honors because I've ate this before. So right. I'll see if you like it. You want these corn? Oh, that cheese got a nice little crunch to it, too. Yep, got a little cheese. Oh, yeah, it's overflowing. Oh, you're so oh I need to get a fork in here. Because okay. okay. I'm Filipino, spoon and fork. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to get a good amount of cheese on that one. These meatballs are big, dude. Oh, that's a big old meatball. Protein. Protein. There you go. Oh. Whew. Just take the whole bread and probably ask for more bread. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just take the whole thing. It's gonna be a good bite. Oh, dude, you get a little bit of everything on there. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of sauce, meatball. Probably make them crush it a little bit to break it up. It's like a little bit on everything. Oh, mm. oh look at that. That's a good bite. Get a little bit of that. Oh, that cheese that is cheese, a little bit get crunchy. Get that cheese on there. Get a little bit of that, of that basil. Basil, yep. Get the cheese. Oh, it's still stretchy. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And then get a little bit of basil on there. Dude, this is a crazy bite right here. Look at that. That should be the dish. Yeah, that's it right there. Cheers. Cheers. That little bit of burn around the bread. Mm hmm. That's nice. A little bit of crunch after that. crunch. Oh, that's bomb. That's a good bread, too. Oh, yeah. Good bread makes everything so good. Mm hmm. I need to go back in. Get in there. Mmm. 
La la. Awesome. Oh. And a special of the week will be right up. You guys doing okay otherwise? Doing great. Yes, very good. Thank Better you. Now. Yeah, right? I would say maybe go this one because I feel like this would be more flavorful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, look at that. So, it's like, oh, yeah. It's all light. Ooh. Damn. Oh, that's super light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I told you. Look at the Look at the we could crush these. Yep. All right, get your slice. You gotta try it. Yeah. Get that big boy slice right there. Yeah. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah. yeah that oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mmm. -hmm. You get that like nice saltiness mm -hmm. from the meat in there, but yeah. the egg gives it that kind of creaminess too. Yeah, that's a good that pizza. Really good. Look at the it's bottom. Nice balance. Yeah, it's all like, that it's like crust. crispy. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. The good one. Oh wow. Wow. That was bomb. I love good, you guys. Very yeah. good. Like a little spice. Great, so Yeah. Super good. Okay. Drizzle. Thank you. Yeah, maybe not. I'll try it out. Yep. A little, little spice, spice. Even the crust is good. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. That's fluffy. Yeah, I love pizza like this. Like with thinner slices. Mm -hmm. Cheeses, sausage, fresh cut basil, and Bell pepper puree. Oh wow, it's interesting. It's been stacked. Yeah, bell pepper puree and artichoke. Oh yeah, it smells mm. great. Oh. Yeah, this one's cheesy. That might be one of my favorites. That one? Yeah, maybe that one, this one, that one. Mm. So how does it feel eating this stuff after waiting for so long? Uh, feels like I'm alive again. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives me life. During bodybuilding prep, do you feel like you're separate from the world? Like you see, like, like your wife is probably just eating normal stuff, right? And then yeah. you're just like sitting there going like... I kind of have to lie to myself, like I don't want that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise if you're always thinking about it, you get bad cravings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of like just put it outside my head. Yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, that's when you go a little crazy. I would see like my son and my wife order a Pizza Hut. Oh, that's so and I've never, I haven't been able to lie to myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just go, I do want that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. While you're eating your chicken and rice. Yeah. So I think I'm pretty full. I don't think I can have any dessert. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stuffed too. This is a lot of food. It's a lot. I just got three pizzas. Yeah. After this, I'll be good. Now we're at Serial Killers. It's located in the mall of Planet Hollywood. It's a dessert spot where they add cereal to everything. Favorite things, cereal, ice cream, milkshakes, all in one, delicious. That's all you need, and fast carbs. Yeah, 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 it's for, it's for performance. Yeah, see? Look. See for yourself. Dude, they have a fuck ton of cereal. Wow. Oh, damn, the rocker. Ooh. The peanut butter lovers. That was bomb. Cinnamon roll waffle, dude. Damn. Oh, I do like pretzels. S'more money, s'more problems. That sounds bomb. Oh. So I actually feel a little bit bad because the first person I asked, I'm like, what do you recommend? And he gave me like this, like, oh, I like the Teddy Grahams with the vanilla ice cream, whatever. Full description. And yeah. I was like, eh. And Wrong then, answer. Yeah, yeah. And his buddy was like Ferrero Rocher. I was like, that one. That's it. He knows. He knew. So yeah, yeah. you know in the group there's like one guy with like like not as good taste and the other guy that knows what the good stuff is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All three of us ended up getting the one. Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong. You cannot. With no. the scoop of Nutella. Nutella in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Game over. Game over. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. No, that was the right choice. Mm. How is it? Bomb. I can taste the protein right away. Mm -hmm. The nuts, the batons, yeah. it makes it healthy. Yeah, I can taste the BCAAs in there. And it's packed with like, yeah. probably potassium or Zero something. Zero net sugar. Zero, yes. yeah. Yeah. Mmm. The chocolate syrup drizzled all over the place. Gives it just these little like, little flavor bursts everywhere. It's crazy that this has so much protein in it. What did he say, like 400? Yeah, four to 300. Yeah. Four to 300, so it goes down. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. If they add more Ferrero, it's more protein. I see. So yeah, if you're ever in Vegas, check out Cereal Colors. 400 grams of protein in one serving. Mm-hmm. Uh, zero grams of fat, and it was like net, zero net carbs or something. Yeah, no carb, no sugar. So honestly, going through like the whole bodybuilding prep, it really made me appreciate food way more. Because mm -hmm. before, like, until you're that restricted, like, you don't know how good you have it. Like, even looking at just white rice, I'd be like, oh, I can't Oh, even. I would savor my meals. Yeah, I yeah, couldn't yeah. even have white rice. So now to have this is insane. Even just getting what I would get normally at, like, a sushi place, I was literally closing my eyes, like, mm. <laughs> Yeah. Or the, you know when you get down to, like, the super low days? Yeah. Where you eat a little bit? and then you just fill your whole mouth with water to pretend like you're getting a lot of yeah. volume. Oh, I used to chase my meals with just a bunch of liquids just so I feel full. Yeah. And now we can eat. Now we can eat. High mm. protein, low fat stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is a great day one. We got even crazier surprises for day two. I don't want to give anything away, but we're going to go to a celebrity chef's restaurant. See you there. Nadim. <laughs> Drunk cooking. <laughs>